Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More and we're back with another real estate investing video. Um, today is a little bit of a different video and possibly a little bit of a different investment for us. So we are out in the country and this is a vacant lot. So I had someone come to me um, who was interested in selling this and they came to us to list it for them. But um, then we started thinking, well, maybe we might be interested in buying it from them and me possibly starting a new adventure. So we'll talk about that, kind of show you what's out here and love to hear what you guys think of our possible idea and what we might do out here. So we are um, in Northern Colorado where the real estate market is crazy and it has been pretty tough for us to find deals lately. I was planning to do 27 flips this year and um, part of that was buying about 15 in the first six months. And so far in the first month, month and a half now, we bought one, <laughs> so we're way behind. So we have been brainstorming about different things to do, how we can um, keep buying deals, keep you know investing. We're not, not in a huge rush. We're not buying deals that don't make sense. I've done that before, it doesn't work out well, but we are looking at new ideas. And so I actually had someone from high school who I'd not seen from high school stop by my office and say, hey, I've got a property I'm looking to sell, can you help us out? And we talked about it. And it is this vacant lot, which has almost three acres. Um, it is, let's see, about five, 10 miles from the nearest town, really good location, has no water. So water is extremely expensive in Colorado. It does have toilets already. So those are here. So that would save us a lot of money. <laughs> no septic, no water, you have to put all that in. And water right now, a water tap in this area for a full tap would cost you $70,000 and for a, a partial tap, 50 some thousand. So a partial tap, they limit you on how much water you can use. If you go over that amount, they start charging you with a full tap. You can pretty much use as much as you need. So there's a massive shortage of water in Colorado and uh, we're kind of at the top of the mountain where the only water we get is from our mountains, the snow melt. And so there's lots of projects to store that water, reservoirs, things like that, but there's still lots and lots of people moving into Colorado all the time. And um, just more and more of it is being used up. So that's one of the big expenses of building and why there's a lack of building in the area too, because water is so expensive. So the gentleman approached us, asked us, hey, are you interested in this lot? And um, we're selling it. We, we kind of gave him a price to sell it. And then we're thinking about it and like, man, what if I bought it either as an investment to maybe hold for a little while, then try to sell, or do we get into the business of trying to build a house? So Nikki, who's my project manager, um, she built a house with her husband a few years ago. Uh, they do have experience doing it. It's quite the process. It's nothing, it's not easy, that's for sure. But that's something that I've always kind of had in the back of my mind. It's a lot of work, a lot of time, but, um, there's lots of fill dirt already here. A lot of the soil tests have already been done. They're pretty much getting ready to build the house here, but then um, things didn't work out uh, how they'd planned, so they, they chose a different direction. So now they're looking to sell the property, and the question is, hey, do I wanna buy it, or do I even wanna go so far as to become a house builder and try out an investment in that route? So that's the question right now. And I'll show you a little um, something else around the property that is maybe good, maybe bad. All right, so you can see my truck over there. That is the front driveway to the property. Um, so this land has about half of that driveway. And then your main driveway is between those houses over there, right off that pretty busy road. So that's kind of a drawback, but I think, oh, I need to check and see if there's a back way onto it. Um, there's a ditch around us here, which is what I wanted to show you as well because that is kind of a you know it's not on the busy road you can't hear the road but getting on and off of a busy road to your driveway is a little dangerous so and they have a cool little pavilion so they have been kind of using the land that's kind of cool <laughs> and they put the fence up so here is what i was going to show you this isn't just a little ditch uh, this is a pretty good sized irrigation ditch 
that runs around the entire side of the property. So I know some people would be pretty concerned about that with small kids. Um, I know I would be, although my kids are bigger, but we have another small kid now. So that's a concern. And then also with that, the water table is pretty high. So you can't have a basement here, just a above ground house. Most houses in the area do have basements. So that's also something to think about. But um, I think both those problems can be overcome. And oh, I think it would be a pretty good deal too. It's not just, you know, we have the opportunity to get it um, fairly cheap. So that's something to think about as well. So let us know what you think. Let me know if I'm crazy, if it's a good idea to venture into this world. I always said technically I never built a house, but that's kind of wrong because we had the meth house that ended up burning down. <laughs> and then we rebuilt that all the way from the foundation up. That was with my dad a long time ago. I do have a video on that. Um, but so there was one that we kind of rebuilt, but we've never really built one from scratch all the way from the foundation all that up. So let us know what you think. Love the comments, love the likes. Um, welcome new subscribers. Uh, please check out investormore.com too if you want more information on investing. Have tons of articles, tons of videos and advice out there. So love to see, um, help you guys any way we can. All right, we'll be back and I will probably, by the time I post this video, have an update on whether <laughs> we do this or not. So um, I like to act pretty quick on things like this and not beat around the bush. And that's one reason why we get so many deals. Here's the other side of the property. And so it would take a lot of work, a lot of cleanup uh, to get this ready to build. And boy, if you're gonna sell it, it would sure look better cleaned up as well. Or that dirt kind of piled up in a little better situation.